Hey, it's Sweet Savant, Chef Demetra Overton, ready to show you what you need to know about your home bar. Today we're going to make the top three cocktails every home bartender needs to know. It's the three M's. So we're going to start with a martini, a Manhattan, and margaritas. So let's get into it. So for our martini, we're going to start with a London dry gin, some dry vermouth, and for garnish, a little twist of lemon or an olive. We're going to mix it all. We're going to stir it, not shake it. You can shake it if you want, if you think you're James Bond or something. We're going to stir it and then strain it into our glass. So let's get started. First, we're going to put some ice into our mixing glass. And we're going to use this to measure. This is one ounce on this side and two ounces on this side. And we're going to do a two to one ratio, two parts of gin to one part of vermouth. So I'll start with two ounces of gin. Oops, I spilled it. And one ounce of dry vermouth. And vermouth is a wine, so once it's open, it's best if you store it in the refrigerator. And if you like your martini dry, then you put much less vermouth, maybe just a quarter of an ounce. If you like it wet, you can add much more vermouth, up to an ounce, or sorry, two ounces. We're going to stir it for at least 30 seconds to chill it down. It'll dilute it a little bit. You don't want to dilute it too much. And then we're going to grab our glass. And a chilled glass is best. Keep it in the freezer. If you can, put our strainer over. Pour in our concoction, and then get a twist of lemon, squeeze it to release some of the oils, maybe rub it around, and drop it in. If you like your martini dirty, then you're going to add a little bit of olive juice, olive brine, into your mix while you stir it up, and then you skewer a couple of olives, and you put that in there, but that's it. That is your classic martini. Two parts of London dry gin, one part vermouth, and then garnish with a twist of lemon. Next cup, we're going to do a Manhattan. We're going to start with rye whiskey, which is traditional. You can use Canadian whiskey if you like, bourbon if you want, but rye whiskey is traditional. It's a little spicier. Sweet vermouth and bitters. Normally it's Angostura bitters, but we're going to use Peychaud's. So we're going to use our mixing glass and ice again. And this is also a 2 to 1 ratio with 2 ounces of rye. one ounce of sweet vermouth, and then just two dashes of bitters. I'm going to stir that again. To chill it down and just dilute it a little bit, because a little bit of water helps to open up the whiskey and bring out the flavor. Grab our glass. Again, a chilled glass is best, and we'll strain that. And of course, you can make yourself a double if you want more. Garnish it with a couple of cherries 
and you're done. Now it's time for the margarita. I know that's what you were waiting for. We're going to start with a Resposado tequila, a pretty golden color. Orange liqueur, traditionally you'd use a triple sec. This one is an orange liqueur, it's a little bit sweet and it gives a nice balance to the acidity of the fresh lime juice that we're going to have. So it's two parts of tequila, one part of orange liqueur, and one part of fresh lime juice. Depending on how limey you like it, you can always adjust it to your own taste. So, this time, we're going to shake. So we're going to add ice into our shaker. We're going to use this teeny measuring cup. Measuring cup shot glass. And we're going to do two ounces. of the tequila, one ounce of this orange liqueur, and then another ounce of this lime juice, all in the shaker. Put the lid on, nice and secure. And then shake it up for about 15 seconds. And with this shaker, you just unscrew the top and it's got a strainer. And we're going to get our glass. And you can put sugar or salt on the rim. I put sugar on the rim of this one. Add some ice. Get that margarita right in your glass. And then garnish it some fresh lime slices. And you are done. That's it, folks. Three cocktails you need to know for your home bar. Martini, Manhattan margarita and you're ready for a party. Thanks so much and please subscribe.